Yo, what's up everyone? So welcome to my podcast section. So this is in my office. Uh, I'll do a full studio tour, a full office tour when it's all said and done. But for now, I know my podcast setup is done and really just want to bring you guys in as far as all items, everything that we use to get the podcast rolling. And of course, I'll provide B-roll so you guys can see the quality and everything I talk about and everything I do talk about as far as what I have. I'll have links in the description below. So. Let's get started, I guess, with the light that I use. Um, I use an overhead light, and the reason for it is just, I just love the look of it. It's easy, we can sit down, and literally just turn on the light. It's that simple, and I don't have to worry about moving a softbox or any of the lighting to compensate for all three of us. So this light just lights everyone up. It creates a moody tone, which is what I love as far as uh, the lighting. So it's a Nanlite Force 60B. That's the light that I have right on top, and then the softbox is the Lantern from Nanlite as well. And this is cool, the little skirt right here. Basically it helps it from hitting the, the back wall and it keeps it very dark, very moody. So it allows for my neon sign to turn on and it just, it doesn't fight with that power because I'm all about keeping all lights in separate areas, like separating the lighting. So that's just me being a nerd as far as that. So it's the 460B, that's what we have. And we have a Matthew C stand that goes up. Um, and of course I have a bunch of sandbags down here because you know, yeah, you just you don't want this to fall down. That's really what it is. So yeah, that's the light right now. Now let's jump into the mics, I guess, because that really is you know how the podcast works. So we have the blue boom arm. Uh, we have two of them. Uh, it was supposed to be basically two people talking, but sometimes we have three. I might even buy a fourth one. Sometimes we might have four. Uh, I definitely want to push this, but it's a sure. So it's the MC MV7 mics. I have two of those. And then over here, I have a third one. This is, what's, this, what's the model number or model name? SMB7. SMB7, you heard the guy, um, he did his math. So if anything, of course, I'll have everything linked in case we, I did make a mistake on it. The stand right there, I purchased it from Amazon as well. I think that was cheap, like 20 bucks or something. This boom arm was 100, that mic was 400 bucks and these were, everything will be linked. Uh, we'll, we'll put a little price tag here because I completely forgot how much it cost, but they sound amazing. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and just show you guys a quick little shot, maybe like five, six seconds, so you guys can hear the, the quality that comes out of these mics right here. It's open to a lot more clientele for sure. So you, you get like a broader audience when it comes to wedding videography. It's a lot easier, like I said. Um, just take different photos and scroll through them and then start shooting them. So that like so like for the That's intimate funny. shots like you'll have an SD card for the most part it's all gonna be like you know uh, candid photos. Um, obviously there's there's times where like their things will be tweaked. Like I have a six, eight, ten hour package. So we're we're gonna talk about lighting, composition, the story if it has a story, uh, color grading, and overall flow of the video. I'm here. All right, so. That's pretty much it as far as the mic itself. Now for the audio recorder that I use for my podcast, I use this one right here. Let me just unplug it. I use a Zoom H6. Um, I love this one, it's really easy to use. Normally what I do is I have a, whoever's sitting down with me, I have them talk and I'll just adjust the knob to their voice levels um, so it doesn't peak and really easy to use again. Um, and then I have a, basically a power outlet too, so it doesn't, I don't have to rely on the batteries, so it could just stay on for a long time. It takes SD cards, it's quick and fast, um, and it sounds really, really good. So yeah, the Zoom H6 is what I use, and then we have this little ticky time bomb that people call it, but it's really, it's to keep us, um, like, you know, we don't wanna use our phones or whatever, so we use this little thing to place it. It has like five minutes, three minutes, 15 minutes, 25 minutes. So this keeps us intact so we don't go overboard, even though we never follow it, we try to. But basically you just set it down and it'll let us know. Like um, if we put the 25 minute on top, then it'll say 25 minutes. And then that's, that's the rundown. So we know to try to knock out the podcast so we don't go overboard. Um, but very simple. Uh, now as the aesthetic look for me, uh, for my podcast, I wanted to do my neon sign uh, my logo for my filmmaking. Again, it's my podcast and I just feel like it's dope. It's a taco. Who doesn't love tacos? Who doesn't like filmmaking? It's two in one and I just turn it on and you know, it's cool. It's yellow, teal. I, I love the, the look of it matching it with the black uh, color. And these plants are from Amazon. I think they were like 70 bucks a piece. Uh, again, it enhances it. Before this, uh, it was just the black wall with the neon sign. I thought it was cool. But then one of these days I just decided to grab these plants from my office and my girl's office 
and it just provided an aesthetic look that I just had to have it. And with the cameras, it creates a certain depth to the image. So I like it. I know podcasts are supposed to be all about audio, but for me, I also put it on my YouTube channel. So just wanted it to sound really good. So that's that. Um, and then we do have back there acoustic sound panels. I bought those. I think they were like 50 bucks a piece on offer up. Again, black and cream, just to match the aesthetic look. The colors, like they're all pretty much the same, just like the table's black. This black table, I bought it from Ikea. Um, again, you know, I was gonna do white, but black, just again, just kinda do like a neutral color. That's really what I wanted to get out of uh, this podcast look. So now let's talk about the cameras that we have here. Um, the cameras that we're using is Sony A7S III's. I have a Canon here, but He's filming with the third Sony a7S III. I just picked that up. So now we're gonna have all three Sony a7S III's. The reason why I recommend these cameras, if you guys want your podcast to be filmed, the autofocus is insane. It tracks the eye wherever it's filming. So it's really, really crucial for my podcast, which is why I love, I love this. I don't have to worry about manual focusing, just press record and that's it. And it's a limited recording time limit. So you don't have, if you go over 40 minutes, 50 minutes, it's gonna keep recording as long as the SD card has storage in there. The lens that I use for this one is gonna be an 85 mil. Um, and then for this wide uh, lens in the middle, I'll use a 24 mil, uh, all Sony G Master lenses. And then we have the 50 mil 1.4 on the other one to go sideways. So 50 is going pointing this way, the 85 is pointing this way. And the beautiful part is the 85 is compressed. It's like a telephoto, but I'm able to move the tripod basically all the way over here if I wanted to and you know gives me more, more space so if i have two people instead of one sitting on that side then i have to kind of push back but i have the space for it and i think that's pretty much it this is the podcast setup again um it's my aesthetic look i'm all about not i don't really have a soundcloud or anything or spotify where you can put this as far as just audio so i just decided to just put it up on my youtube channel and i do these once a week i want to start pushing them every sunday morning yeah, these are the mics. Uh, this is the whole setup. If you guys liked anything that I talked about, there will be links in the description below. Pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. The mic fell. Anyways, let me turn this off. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys liked this podcast. If you guys did, like I said, drop it a like, comment, and catch you guys next time. Peace out.